All right, so video one of the uh, workbench, modified total station, Polk style. Um, I already have a, a kind of a Polk workbench. It's kind of a lazy man's Polk workbench, but uh, I've been working out of it probably for six months now. And now I know what I want, and now we're gonna build it. Uh, we're gonna start with the uh, top, because that's the most intricate piece. I wanna make sure that's completely, you know, 100% the way I want it. And we're gonna go with, uh, an inset so I can have my miter saw my dual bevel miter saw with full motion inset inside that way I can have um, Like um, locks that way I can do repetitive cuts, which I can't do right now with um, With my setup. Um, I can do repetitive cuts, but it's just I'm measuring every time and making sure So this way I can just set it and forget it and just keep you know hammering down with the um, the exact same cut over and over again which is going to come in handy for a couple jobs coming up whenever we do get to uh get back to work around here so this is my setup if you're not familiar a uh, couple things um the polk station 2 does not have the uh table saw um cradle or whatever you want to call it on the end which i love this so i'm going to keep it so i will be moving everything back and you'll see throughout the videos how i do this and I wanna keep the rod, uh, uh, the availability of the rod. So I am probably going to recycle the bottom piece here from this uh, uh, this station, but everything else is gonna be uh, new except for the um, the metal here. I'm gonna, there's nothing wrong with that, absolutely not. So I'll be making everything out of birch. This is birch uh, sanded. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty nice. I handpicked this one, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna cut it, the three by six directly out of this sheet right here. That's all I got it for, so I'm just, there's gonna be some waste, but I don't care. Uh, there's, that's, that's what it's for. So, and then I haven't decided, I'm probably going to either um, spray it down with uh, some poly, I haven't decided yet, maybe paint it, we'll see how it goes. So, I wonder if you guys can hear my, my daughter in the background here. <laughs> so, she's having fun too. But, I'll uh, put in some fast motion video here of me just cutting it down. Uh, I got my 100 and, I think it's 118 inch uh, track here and my and my other my smaller one there uh, but yeah that's that's the basics I now I know this is absolutely a fantastic tool I love this workbench I am not building any stands I love these stands um, they're for one thing they're easily height adjustable and they have multiple functions if I need to and if I need additional storage underneath I can just throw some um, some planks and have some storage on, underneath as well not a big deal. You can see here I will be cutting out uh, spots for um, dust and dust removal, vacuum. Um, later date, probably, you know, additional HEPA, HEPA <laughs> uh, vacuums as well. But you can see obviously with the, with the uh, table saw in here, it does get quite dusty if I'm using it, which I do. And that's pretty much it. So everything is gonna be half inch except for the top top. You can see it's gonna stay three quarter inch and it's gonna be stored in the exact same space as before. Um, three by six. I mean, that's pretty much. I'm looking forward to it, and obviously, it's going to in, indent here, recess, so I can have my miter, my miter saw right here, and I can have out feed to the left and to the right of it. Let's get to it. Uh, not much, not much going on really. Just cutting down the sheet and making sure it's exactly the way I want it. All right, ripping the board down. I actually didn't set the depth correctly, so I had to go back and do it again. So you see me there, there. We finally got that board off, but uh, yeah, tracks will make quick, quick and short work for sure. All right, so three by six. Cut down. Next thing, I'll be taking that off the stand, slapping it up here to do the cutout as well. That way, you know, getting it all measured in for the layout. And then we'll be uh, basically taking this down and cutting the strips for the sides here. Again, redoing the sides the way I want it and then reusing the, the, uh, the bottom piece here because there's no point. I mean, these, these things cost like 40, 50 bucks a sheet. So yeah, and then uh, we're gonna uh, paint them and do a couple coats of poly uh, before we put it all together. So it's gonna be a little process, but eh, I'm, not, I'm in no rush. All right, so got it off of that. We're putting it on here and we're doing measurements. We'll obviously center it up. These are actually going away because there's no point to having these because this will be dropped down. <sighs> Just going to make sure we have enough clearance. I will be looking at everything so I can't have bolts that are sticking up too far because it's going to clip it. So I'll do some homework, but I'm thinking it. 
one right here and either on the back end right here even though this is kind of kind of damaged but i don't think I'm, i want to be able to catch a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a washer so on the back end and the front that'll give me plenty of support for this to for this to come out and then oscillating so i want to bring and again bringing it out so i can have the board have it cut out about right there and I can always notch it even more. I can probably just go straight at an angle here. So, and then these, these again, you know, come straight, straight at an angle, going both ways. We don't want to, you, know, you know, measure 16 times, cut once. So, all right. All right, so, got the top part cut out. I did, obviously this is cut out for mine. I know the, uh, Plans call for a Festool guide, so this is mine. It's a little shallower. I don't need as much room, so therefore I'm gonna leave it so I have you know extra support and extra wood on the actual table itself or whatever I need. But we are going to leave it at that. This is the plan. The plans. I have this, uh, but the, the plans are in millimeter, you know, metric. So I just you know easy conversions, or I can just do metric. But I mean easy conversion. To, uh, get it to inches it's not that it's not that hard not that difficult and a lot of the not all of it but uh, some of it with the miter saw is you know it's custom to the saw itself so but we are gonna take this tape this this top off and then we're going to cut those rip those down to what i need for the sides and the support not gonna lie track saws are absolutely phenomenal i can't i can't say enough about the uh the track saw tool and obviously you can see here this is why a table saw is also necessary making those thin cuts it just it saves a bunch of time so here's me putting it together i basically made one side on the short side and just cut it to how i wanted it as far as the curve and the angle and use that as a jig for the rest of the uh rest of the little pocket hole tool access storage areas on the side there so um yeah those corner clamps really make a difference i uh, glued and screwed the sides and I left the top and bottom um, just screwed because those are going to be wearable parts here. So this is all of them together. Uh, yeah, look, you know, it's coming together again, screwed and glued on the sides and just screwed for the bottom. And I'll be here in a few. I will show you that I screwed the top end. Very nice. Uh, took my time with this one as opposed to the one below. You see there is kind of kind of not nearly as nice. So here's the top part. Just uh, screwing the top, making sure everything's fitting correctly, and angling it. And I'm using the clamps to make sure everything's square. I mean, there's, I'll be screwing, or I'll be making the holes for the um, clamp holes and everything on a later date, but it's coming together pretty good. All right, so let's take a look and see how far I got here. Pretty simple. It's it's getting light, so I got a light out here just to kind of, uh, yeah, got it together. These little spots, right? This really, you can see how I cut it. This is going to be back. You're going to have a T track back here, so I can have stops. Uh, router plate, probably going to go over there. That's going to be later. I still have to cut out. There's, you know, there's a bunch of work left to do, but this, at least I got it up and going, and I can actually use the miter now because I am not. I'm retiring that boy. No, either sell it. I might keep it. Who knows? But uh, another another miter saw or. I don't know. So I was going to get the 12 uh, inch version of this, but Makita's coming out with a new one coming, you know, whenever. And um, obviously this is the 10 inches working just fine for me. And since the economy is, is what it is, I uh, decided not to spend the extra seven, 800 bucks on a new saw when there's no work right now to justify it. Uh, so, but I already had all the rest of this wood in stock and I was able to use it and it's so far so good. I'm uh, still debating on what I need to do down there. Uh, either I might cut out another access, see, but we'll see. I might just leave it as is. I don't really need, you know, I got the cubby here and there for tool access. And then I also, if you can see, I cut out right here. So the pipe for the um, the table saw cradle can move back and forth. So I have enough, uh, enough uh, clearance there as well. That's basically it. I still got to obviously cut in the holes that I need to, dust relief, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then obviously T-Track over here as well. And the, my, the, the, uh, the, what do you want to call it? Shoot, I'm, no, it's, it's late. I've been working. So <laughs> it's, um, the, I forget, the legs, the, the extensions to go out there. So I still have to build those. But 
not too bad not too shabby did a lot better work than my my original one you can see it over there it's uh uh yeah so glued and screwed and um the top is just um screwed says you know if, you, if you're gonna it's gonna get it's gonna bust it up and everything so i'll replace it eventually as well but uh yeah i mean nothing, nothing crazy i'm not building the legs i'm using my uh home depot uh heavy duty uh, legs just because i like them easy deployed you know easy enough for me so i got plenty of space i did cut it out because eventually you know i'm even going to get the 12 inch version so i did cut it out for that and just the, the back support and if you guys wanted to see these obviously the the table saw comes out easy it just sits there uh there's not much else i can pull it straight out and, uh, and get to the the battery right there so not a bad not a bad operation and then this just pulls up and it can slide out too so you know easily Easily deployable. It is pretty heavy, but it's not that bad. And yeah, definitely can work with it for sure. So that's all I got right here. It's uh we'll, we'll work out of it. I got some more holes and this will be part one in the video. So like, comment, and subscribe if I've earned it. Appreciate it, guys. Take it easy.